Now, the main aim of the Web TV right here for the 62nd ISI World Statistics Congress 2019 is all about creating awareness about the work, the wonderful work that professionals, practitioners are doing in the field of statistics. One of them is with me today, Ms. Jessica Arts, who is Professor Emerita at the University of California. Welcome thank to you. Kuala Lumpur and how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderfully, thank you. Great. How has the Congress been? It's been fascinating. So many interesting talks to attend, ah. so many interesting sights to see in the area. <laughs> what is meant by controversial result? Tell us. In many statistical studies, um, the results are not clear cut because statistics always involves uncertainty and variability. And so you can't necessarily give a yes or no answer to questions that come up in a statistical study. In the example I was talking about, the research I was working on was whether or not people can use psychic abilities to get information. But of course, a lot of people think that can't possibly be right. Can't. What impact does this have towards the society? I think um, people who are not trained in statistics don't understand variability and the idea of uncertainty and that scientific experiments are rarely very clear cut in the responses that they provide. The fact that you see what appear to be conflicting results in the news really may not be conflicting results. It's that different studies measure different populations or different groups, uh, and so you're gonna get different results in, depending on how you do a study. What is the ethical communication of controversial data and, and results to the public? Ethical communication, I think, by statisticians involves telling the full story. Sure. One of the things the media wants is the, the headline, the, the, you know, the startling headline. But usually when a study is done, um, there are multiple results. And if you only report the ones that are the, the most newsworthy, you're being unethical. So the full story needs to be given when results are reported. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the ethical thing to do, yeah, is to give the full thing story. To do, of right. course, uh, what would be the usual response that controversial data receives from the public? Well, there's something called confirmation bias, where people um, give more credibility to media reports of things they already think are true and less credibility to things that they already that they don't think are true. Um, so I think that's the biggest problem for trying to get message ac across to the public is that we need to do it in such a way that they can maybe shift a little bit and see the side of the story that they might not have thought of before. You were saying about you know, being ethical and non-ethical and you have to tell both sides of right. the story and how we in the media, I mean I'm coming from the oh. media <laughs> as well, and that actually struck a note of a concern where um, you need to tell both sides of the story, you know. How are you going to assure that, you know, both sides of the story is told? Yeah, I think it's important for statisticians to work closely with the media uh, and to understand each other. You know, the media has a different motivation than a statistician. The media, of course, wants a headline. You know, you have to get that attention-grabbing story. But I think to work with the media person ahead of time to illustrate that there are two sides to a story or maybe multiple sides to a story. So first get the media person to understand the issues and then work together to create a, a compelling story that does tell both sides. Thank you so much, Jessica. You're welcome. Jessica Arts, uh, Professor Emerita from the University of California. That's all the time we have. Thank you for your attention. I'm Annette. Bye-bye.